Hey everyone, my name is Peyton Varney, and in this video what I want to do is go over converting an older Unreal Engine 4 project into a UE5 project, and then setting up our new lighting and everything. So I'm going to start here with the uh, UE5 uh, opener for the um, new project itself, and I have this really old project uh, called The Village, uh, and it was last, I think, um, done in 4.14. So what I'm going to do here is I've already made a copy of it actually. I'm just going to browse that location and I've named it this here. And basically, yeah, I just want to go in and actually find that project, uh, the U project, and then open it up. Um, and then here you're going to get this convert project window. So I want to go ahead and actually uh, convert it. Um, so starting up here. I'm going to convert in place and since I already did a, uh, a copy of it then I don't necessarily need to make a copy itself uh, because I just went ahead and took that precaution um, beforehand but uh, you could also make a copy if you need be. But now you can see here that it's actually opened it up inside of UE5 um, depending on how big the project is it might take a while for a lot of your uh, actual assets or materials to be uh, updated and so you're, you're going to have uh, compiling shaders for a little bit. But this project itself doesn't have a ton of bottles or uh, textures or anything so you can kind of see that it's it's pretty much already complete um, and I think it just says that lighting needs to be rebuilt uh, for it because yeah this is uh, much older it was using like baked lighting and everything so I kind of want to also set it up for uh, dynamic lights and actually uh, using a lot more of uh, that kind of situation here. So what I want to do first is actually go into the project settings and we're going to go to um, the rendering tab, uh, which is actually right up here. Um, so inside of rendering, uh, under the engine rendering, there's a couple of things we can change. Uh, this will actually update it with the lumen lighting that's new in UE5 as well as making sure that we actually have ray tracing because this project wasn't using ray tracing before either. Um, so underneath global illumination I did change the uh, dynamic global illumination method to lumen. Um, additionally under reflections I changed that to lumen and that is one thing that is a little bit tricky with some things like water and stuff uh, still being worked on. Uh, but certain reflections might need screen space uh, and so forth. So keep in mind if you are having reflections issues, it might be uh, related to this. But um, yeah, I'm leaving it on Lumen for now. want to make sure that I also come down here and underneath the hardware and software ray tracing, I just pretty much check boxed uh, everything. Turn off texture LOD if I don't want to. Um, have that but uh, basically yeah just have all of these checked and make sure that that's good. You can also if you are uh, really wanting to make sure uh, that you have everything figured out or um, at least checked with it so uh, you can type in lumen and then additionally with ray tracing so going on here uh, make sure that most, most of these that uh, you need. I do have a plugin for modeling mode tools um, which is like some of the new modeling methods inside of Unreal Engine 5 um, and I just click those on just to be safe. Uh, it looks like they might contribute to ray tracing and everything while editing so I wanted that to be turned on um, if I am working with those. But yeah, after this what I would suggest is a complete reload of um, your projects and this will update as well with the ray tracing. Make sure that uh, everything's working properly and so forth. Um, and I already did that with the scene. So what we see now, we should have ray tracing on um, with our reflections and with our uh, shadows and everything. Uh, we should proper, properly be getting the ray tracing. And you can see how some of the lighting, like that pop there, is kind of fading out in a certain way. I can kind of show you how uh, some of that's working. Um, at least like, yeah, just to be clear whether or not it actually has ray tracing featured. Uh, typically you can see it with some of the almost um, like noise that you can see the shadows where it's blending apart. So now that we have that, what I want to do is go up here and actually um, pretty much I'm going to delete most of my lights. 
Reason being is because the lights in here, um, back when I originally made this, it was a bunch of spotlights and all, um, and it was really just trying to fill in the space. So I'm going to do that. And now what I want to do as well is find my light source and then have my skylight. Make sure that these are both set to movable um, over here with the lighting. And if that is the case, we shouldn't have any more, uh, like in our shadows, it shouldn't say indirect lighting or anything, or uh, preview lighting anymore. Um, so it should be yeah, set up properly. We're getting more realistic lighting with it. Um, and it looks like it's about to be good. I also do want to delete the sky um, blueprint just because it is an older blueprint. Um, some of these things I might just delete uh, just to be safe, you know, with the post process. Uh, some things might change and I don't know how well that necessarily may carry over. Uh, so with that at least I wanted to uh, just, yeah, basically clean slate with everything in here. And let me see if I have any other lights because it looks like I might have one more light um, that needs to be done. But yeah, if not, then what I can also do is just do a simple uh, build lighting only. And this should uh, pretty much just also guarantee that, yeah, we don't have anything else. I'm going to allow access to that. Um, and I should build it real quick and hopefully get rid of this um, message here. And cool. So I got a couple of errors that popped up, uh, but it looks to be good now. And we have our skylight and our directional light. Uh, the other thing with building lighting after you've switched things to movable is that if anything was potentially baked onto a light map or anything, uh, then it should uh, hopefully clean that out as well. Um, so now we just have our two movable uh, light sources, and I think that's about it, at least in here. So now I can actually figure out, you know, how do I want my, my lighting and all for this. So I do want to add back a new post process. So if you don't have your um, actors panel over here, since you are the new uh, UV5 as well, you can go up here to Windows, and it's just a, a window, an uh, actual, uh, that pops into there. So it's called Place Actors. So I'm just going to click that there, and now we can see uh, this is something that's pretty like default and standard in UV4, uh, but it doesn't necessarily come in default inside of UV5. So I enabled that window now, and what I can do is find my post process. So I'm going to drag one in here, and for now, just so I can really play with the lighting and all, I am going to come down here, and I want to turn infinite extent unbound on. Um, that way it's not bound to this uh, bounding box. And then, of course, I can go up here to the exposure as well and change the min and max brightness to one. Um, that way I have just uh, an exact kind of uh, lighting scenario. You know, there's no exposure really changing things and I know what I'm, I'm getting with the lighting. So now with that, I will jump back over to my directional light and we can see that, you know, maybe these also uh, could be uh, actually brought in some new ones. So I'm going to go over here as well, bring in a new directional light, uh, which we have there. And then I'm going to also bring in a new skylight. Uh, and the reason why I'm doing this too is because, you know, it's been so long since I worked on this project. I don't know necessarily like which uh, items are or what things I had turned on, which things I had turned off. Um, so like with all of those detail settings and all um, being edited, then I just wanted a clean slate with it. So I think especially if you're jumping over and the big changes you typically are doing are lighting, you know, you're going to have to rework your lighting if you are using Lumen and also using um, like ray tracing and more previously. So it's not even, yeah, it's not bad to necessarily just start with a clean slate and it can make it quite easy. Um, so what I'm going to do now is, yeah, just really quickly throw in some uh, light uh, before I had it, you know, into a dark scene. But I think I might just, um, 
either yeah can turn this lux down a little bit more and then with my skylight I think for right now I want to uh, turn that down to um, the intensity there so uh, you can see yeah basically um, this is actually uh, what you'll find as well with the lighting now is the bounce lighting is a lot more impactful with the directional line uh, so even with this you'll notice that uh, you will get a lot more like actual bounce coming off of the buildings. Um, that's pretty nice. This is just the skylight itself without any directional light. That way you can kind of see um, how how much impact it is uh, contributing to the scene. So I'm going to turn that back on and then turn on my directional light. Uh, and with this, what I want to do now is yeah, just find you know a decent lighting uh, scenario and all that I find to be uh, all right for this and I'm not going to go into a bunch of the details but I think overall just uh, yeah setting something up with the the directional light um, that way we can get some more like realistic looking lighting uh, and you'll find that like overall like it's updating really nicely I don't have to bake anything um, so lighting inside of UV5 is pretty nice as well uh, and I find overall too, like a lot of the, the ray tracing and the, the bounce lighting, how the shadows are filling in uh, to some of these spaces is a lot more realistic uh, with this new lighting method. So um, yeah, if you want to jump over to UV5 with any of your new projects, there are of course a lot of things to consider. And uh, as it's still in early access as well as preview, um, you know, being cautious of that is a really good thing because it can slow you down. There's less information and stuff out there. Um, but I think if you are looking to improve your scene with some lighting and have the technology, uh, both with the, the hardware as well, to be able to run your scene with that, I think it's an awesome jump to do so. So yeah, that's about it for this uh, tutorial and I will see you next time.